you know that throw. Okay, this the, the version that I do is um, it's not off a of lapel. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not off a of sleeve sleeve grip. It's just off of one sleeve. Um, it's just my variation. So technically, it's the Pedro's variation. Um, it's it's a little bit different, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. So same thing. Um, it's gonna be usually ready versus ready. Same thing. All of my judo basically is like a big circle. So it all kind of comes together. So a lot of times what happens when I'm fighting a righty, if I do kill the sleeve, especially if they're taller and stronger than me, they're gonna be trying to bring this up and bring it right here. So when they're doing that, that creates an opportunity for me to attack, okay? <laughs> okay, so same thing for Sode. I'm going to start um, with my uh, left hand on the sleeve, I'm going to grab just a little bit below the elbow, okay? If I grab too low, I'm not going to have enough um, control, so a little bit higher. I'm going to grab the, you can either grab here or here. To start off, to have you guys learn this throw, I'm going to have your partner have their hand on this side of your body, just so you can get a feel for it, okay? So, step one, I'm going to make a triangle and lift up. Okay, that's the kadushi. is I lift up and I make a triangle with my feet. Okay, I don't want to be too close because then I can't spin in, okay? Lift up. This is very, very important because this is what creates the space for me to attack. If I don't lift up and I just try to come in, I can't. Paul, do you, do you have a question, bud? How are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> if you listen and you do this throw perfectly. <laughs> so, back to Sonic. Um, step one, step and lift up. Okay, this throw is different from your Ponce and Nagi. I'm not going to spin this way. I'm actually going to pivot in, into my opponent. Okay? And I don't stop here. I shoot my hips as far across as I can get them. Okay? One, two. Okay? The most important part of this throw, to me, is this next step. After I lift up, after I lift up, once I spin in, I have to pull this arm down hard. Okay? This is how I control her. If this is not all the way on my shoulder, and it's like this, then I can't lift her. But if it's like this, I can take her wherever I want to take her. Okay? So, Step one, two, I spin in and shoot my hips all the way across and pull down nice and hard. To finish the throw, I use this hand as a guide for her feet. I turn my head and I just extend and I take a bow. Okay? Nicholas, back up a little bit. Okay, guys, back up. Make sure you have a Okay. We're just gonna do steps. Huh? <laughs> this was hard to teach. Getting sweaty. Um, so we're just gonna do parts one and two. Okay. So I just want you guys to get this grip. I want you to step in and lift up, and I want you to get to right here. Okay. Just get to right here. We're not gonna do the last part. Okay. But basically, on the last part, all I do. I, I guide with my hand and I turn and I bow. She actually falls over my shoulders. I don't want her to make a big arch in the air because that's more time for her to get out of the throw. Okay, so I like just a quick little bloop. Okay? Does, 